and that's, really is. I mean, that's kind of what I want to talk to you too about. It's like, obviously we're, I'm trying to get back into it. And you know, it's like, what is your advice to like someone that's looking to get back in it? For me, I just tell you, for me, it's like, I think, you know, for me, I'm, I'm veering towards sports I'm interested in. Right. Right. And I like all sports, but I, but then I think about it, you know, the more and more research I do on this Formula One cards, I feel like they've only, I mean, 2020, it seems like was the first reissue of the Formula One cards. And then, you know, but they're worth so much money. I mean, really it's are. just Especially crazy value, you know. That's one sports venture that I'm not well versed on. Yeah. Is F1. Yeah. Um, and we talked about this at golf. I don't. Yeah. I, I know like um, two big names. Right. Right. So. Right. Um, the best advice I can give anybody that is getting back into it, especially somebody who used to be really right. interested into it and wants to kind of get their feet wet again and get back into it, um, and especially if you're doing it on whatnot, the first and biggest piece of advice is to set a budget. Yeah. Um, you know, what I'll do is if, if I'm going to sit down on, a, you know, a, like tonight, a Tuesday night, I'll, I'll give myself a time limit, you know, sit down for one break and however long that break takes or one single stream, you know, if it's 40, 50 minutes, um, I'm going to spend $100 yep. yeah. shipping and tax included or whatever your budget right. is. Mm. And once you hit that, you close that app. Yeah. You yeah. Swipe yeah. up and you swipe <laughs> up again and you close it. Yeah. And you that was my problem. You don't look the... back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was uh, my problem during the UFC. I was just like. I'm drinking beers. I'm watching exactly. UFC. I'm That's like, another I have my computer too, open dude. over there. I'm like, you know, looking at this. I'm bidding on stuff, and I'm like, I don't, That's even, another I don't even know thing. how much I spent. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's like another big thing for me is like, you know, if I'm at home at night and I'm drinking some beers or something, I yeah. tend to get a little bit more carefree. If right, I'm, exactly. Yeah. 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 But like, for example, when I first downloaded Whatnot and got into it, in the first... I hope my wife doesn't watch this. <laughs> in the first, um, like, we'll say month that I was on whatnot, I spent like eight thousand dollars. <laughs> That's addiction. crazy. So yeah. I spent a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you know, I brought a lot of good product in that got me kind of started. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Once I finally got approved to stream. Right. Um, but it's very easy to go down a rabbit hole, and so that's my my first and my biggest piece of advice: set a budget stick to it yeah you know, don't yeah. ever yeah. waver don't ever yeah. veer from that budget yep. and um yeah know, i mean it's kind of like point. betting i mean it's kind of like if you're it on DraftKings or whatever yeah, it's exactly. that's the same thing i do it's like and DraftKings, i don't it's the same thing i don't i don't bet huge on there i bet five dollar parlays or whatever i mean but but i mean it's the same addicting i mean this is very similar it similarly is. addicting it yeah, is I mean, it really yeah. is yeah, yeah. so i mean you always got to set a budget and like you said larry a earlier on if if you're gonna want to get back into it collect who you want to collect yeah yeah um there's two options you can you can gamble or you can collect yeah and yeah. if if you want to gamble like you know like you're doing a parlay on DraftKings, right then fine you know go ahead and uh, and get into a break so i mean your two options basically are a break or single streams, though, as far as sports cards go. Yeah. And if you're in a break, it's that's very much a gamble. Um, anybody who's not familiar with a break, say it's an NFL break, um, you know, the streamer will have, we'll say, for the sake of, you know, conversation, they have four boxes of whatever. Say they have four boxes of, of this soccer chronicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and they're selling, they're starting the auction at 15 bucks a spot. Um, if you want to gamble a little bit, you know, like if you're in an NFL break, there's 32 spots for each NFL team. Yep. Um, if you win the bid, uh, you choose, usually most streamers have a deck of cards, um, 32 cards with every team logo on them. And uh, you say, they'll say, okay, if you're the first person to win a spot, give me a number one through 32. You pick 15, we'll say. And they count it out, one, two, three, four. 15, flip it over, whatever card, you get that team. Mm -hmm. And all cards that are pulled from those four boxes of said team go to you. So if you're trying to gamble a little bit and you don't want to collect a certain player, a certain team, sure, a, a break may be fun for you. But right. 
if you really want to focus on being smart about it and actually collecting me i'm kind of a an anomaly when it comes to that because i also i collect but i also buy and sell too mm -hmm. so yeah. um every once in a while i'll get into a break but a lot of times i'll go into the single streams yeah and you know sometimes they're they start at a buck and and i can get you know 20 30 cards for 60 70 bucks and yeah. they may be worth 150 you know yeah yeah it's awesome um so it's really about what your ultimate goal is personally on the app if you want to gamble a little bit and get into breaks and have fun with it yeah you know, then yeah you could hit something on there i mean can. it's like yeah yeah you know like um about uh four or five months ago um it's really probably the only big hit i've ever had in a break on whatnot um i actually i ended up uh, in an nba break and I had the Miami Heat, mm -hmm. and I had a precious Achua rookie card out of oh, select, wow. um, and it was a one on one. Wow! And wow. I ended up selling it um, for like twelve hundred dollars. It's amazing, yeah. you know. So it's, it's amazing. Cool. You can have luck, but it's yeah. also like playing the lottery. Like I said, yeah, you have just as much, yeah. you know, right. just as much of a chance hitting a grand on a yeah. like, scratch off ticket. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I feel like that's good advice. Knowing what you want. Going into whatnot, I feel like yeah. it's good advice. Knowing what you want to do, what your end goal yeah, is, and it's and like well, that budget and like too. perfect example. Last night I was watching, I was like cleaning the kitchen. I had my phone. I was watching <laughs> you or whatever. Yeah, and then I, I was like half paying attention. Like I was so pissed I missed on that Gabe Davis card because I was like, oh Black Gabe Prism. Davis, yeah. I'm like, damn. I I, yeah. I looked away for one second, and then it was over. Yeah, but yeah. then you had the uh, the the four pack, the four four pack of uh, football cards. With Earl Campbell, and I yeah, was like, yeah. "Oh, Earl Campbell's like my all-time, like he was my all-time <laughs> favorite when I was Earl. younger, or whatever." And I'm like, oh, "I'm bidding on this for sure." And then you put the Rogers one in there, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm definitely bidding on this one." <laughs> <laughs> so I was like paying attention until I got that one.